I'm a native of Scarborough, Maine, and uh, I got my interest, I think, in local government from my grandmother, who was very engaged in uh, local affairs there, having served on uh, many committees. So I was raised with, uh, with that uh, influence, and so I, I got into it to make a difference in the world. You know, I'm a child, I guess, of the uh, 60s, the Great Society, the notion that um, you can uh, make a difference in your community. And that's what I'm trying to do, is to be in something that uh, has interest to me, which this does, and hopefully I can, in a, some small way, make a difference in the quality of life of the people of Raymond. And, and uh, so that's, that's my interest in, in local government. It's the form of government closest to the people, so you really can see the cause and effect, you know, of, of your efforts. I've been in uh, the Western Mountains region in the town of Dixfield, which was basically a town that was struggling with a declining economy, a mill economy. Well, then I was uh, recruited and ended up down the coast in Rockport. And in Rockport, it was more about trying to, um, it was just a, a really large agenda of capital projects and other things that the town wanted to achieve. So it was trying to achieve this very aggressive capital program while paying attention to taxes, which we did. We kept taxes relatively low. And so I came to uh, Raymond. That was sort of the agenda when I first arrived in Raymond. The Board of Selectmen had a very aggressive capital improvement program uh, ramped up. It included the public safety building, the waterline um, extension project, and uh, the Route 302 improvement project, all large projects. And then we also did some work with the Maine Department of Transportation on the Rural Road Initiative. So we had major road projects uh, going while well, we had these capital building projects going. And probably the most significant of all of them was the waterline. Raymond became the first uh, new Portland Water District town in 50 years. We did that largely uh, or, uh, through a community development block grant and uh, as well as some local uh, expenditure of funds which were supported by then, uh, by then business. So, so it was relatively inexpensive uh, for uh, Raymond. So uh, the Raymond um, mantra, the way, Raymond way, if you like, is to try to do local government as cost effectively as possible while still providing high quality uh, statutorily required services. We, we strive to provide everything that's required under law and provide it well but provide it efficiently and cost effectively. And so we're always trying to pay attention to how can we most efficient, efficiently provide services and, uh, and keep the, the, rate, the tax rate as low as possible. Um, yeah, in these videos, I, I'm hoping that uh, people will get a, a sense of what it is that we do and, uh, and to see the efforts that are ongoing on a day basis by our department heads to try to def deliver uh, cost-effective, high-quality services. And uh, maybe some people won't, won't actually know all the different things that we do, so it could be, could be educational from that standpoint. I hope so. And I, I'm certain that a number of the things that we have in the community are not as widely publicized as they could be from a recreational standpoint. Uh, I'm thinking of things like the Morgan Meadows, we have the Tasseltop Park, people are very aware of Raymond Beach, we also have the Raymond Community Forest. So there are a number of uh, recreational opportunities in town that I hope people will be able to learn about and will maybe more actively take advantage of in town.